everyone, it's Katie here and welcome back to another video. We're going to be looking at some free Zoom alternatives now, which have unlimited meeting duration. Now the Zoom is starting to charge for meetings over 40 minutes. So if you've been teaching online with Zoom, you might have had a slightly unpleasant surprise a few days ago when on the 2nd of May, Zoom introduced a time limit of 40 minutes for one-on-one -on -one meetings. They already had this for group classes, but for one-on-one -on -one previously you had unlimited duration. Your options now are either to upgrade your Zoom account to a pro account, or you can look into some alternative options. In today's video, I want to run through five free alternatives with unlimited meeting duration and similar features to Zoom. Okay, so the first option is called VUV, also known as Tencent Meeting. This essentially is a Chinese Zoom clone with very similar features. Unlike Zoom though, it has no limit for one-on-one -on -one classes. Just like Zoom, it has a virtual whiteboard system, a screen sharing with annotation tools, virtual background options, a chat tool, and the option to record your classes locally too. However, a few key differences to be aware of. The first is that annotation on the whiteboard and on screen sharing is currently available for free, but ordinarily before COVID, it was a paid feature. So it's likely that after COVID, that will return to being a paid option. Additionally, Vuv does not have a few key Zoom features such as breakout rooms, immersive mode, or remote control. So if you use those in your classes, then Vuv might not be the best one for you. Okay, option number two, and this is one that I personally use and would highly recommend. Uh, this is Koala Go. So Koala Go is a really new and exciting platform specifically designed for online teaching. So for your online classes, they have a really excellent online collaborative whiteboard system uh, where you can play lots of games and activities. The great thing as well is that you can prepare these activities in advance before your class and save it to come back to later, uh, rather than Zoom where you had to do everything live on the whiteboard. There are also a few extra features that Zoom didn't have, such as the option to upload files to the whiteboard for you to annotate together with your student. And it also has a great built-in reward system where you can give your students stars as they achieve certain things during the class. Now in terms of limitations though, it does have screen sharing, but there are no annotation options on the screen share. Additionally, there's no recording option, virtual backgrounds, or chat tool. Okay, option number three is called Any Meeting. Now, Any Meeting is a less well known but very powerful option, which also has no time limit for meetings. And essentially, it's very similar to Zoom. It's got screen sharing, including annotation options, has a chat tool, has virtual backgrounds, has an online whiteboard system, so everything you would need for your online classes. However, in terms of limitations, there's a maximum of four participants per meeting, that's you and three students uh, in the free plan. And there's also no recording option that requires a pro plan as well. Okay, option number four is Ding Talk. Now Ding Talk is a Chinese business messaging and collaboration app that was popular though with classroom teachers in China during the pandemic who are taking their classes online via Ding Talk. So it's essentially a virtual whiteboard platform, again, similar to Class In, um, but a little bit more simplified. Some of the key highlights it has that Zoom didn't that include the ability to upload files to this whiteboard for you to annotate together with your students, an out-of-class messaging system, and a really great file collaboration system. Within the whiteboard itself, you can also enjoy polls, there's a little timer tool, and there's the option to record locally and to message and chat with your students too. However, really big limitations that screen sharing is very limited um, and you can't do any annotation on the screen share either. Okay, our final option is Skype. Now, Skype is a really easy and convenient uh, video conferencing platform, uh, which is popular already in many countries all around the world, and it's also used by a lot of online teachers too. Now, I'll be honest, I never thought of Skype really as an online teaching platform. I've always seen it more as a video system, but in recent years, they have launched a lot of really great features that would allow you to teach more formal classes through Skype. So this includes screen sharing, polls, a chat tool, an online whiteboard system, and also the ability to record your course, and you can also do fun things like animated virtual backgrounds. You can add in live subtitles. So if your students are struggling to understand you, they can add subtitles so they can see the words as well. And they also have something called Together Mode, which is kind of a copy of Zoom's immersive mode. So yeah, there's a lot of really great features there that you might want to check out. However, if we look at the key limitations. Again, it's the screen sharing. That's a really big issue with Skype. It's very basic. You can only share the entire screen. You can't select specific application windows or specific tabs. And there are zero annotation options at all. So you might be thinking, okay, there's no one perfect option. So if we just quickly summarize, I would say if you're someone who really needs screen sharing with annotation tools, you want to look at VUV, particularly if you've got Chinese students, or any meeting. If you're someone who wants more of a collaborative online whiteboard system that's specifically designed for online teaching, definitely check out Koala Go or Ding Talk. 
I would say of these two, Koala Go would be my preferred platform. It's got a little bit more features and it's more kid friendly as well. And finally, if you're someone who's doing more video call type classes, then Skype is a popular option. I also want to end with a little um, note on free software. So although all of these options are free, some of them also have paid plans available with additional features, things like recordings or extra tools that are available. So personally, I pay for Koala Go Pro plan because it's got a really unique co-browsing tool which allows me and my students to directly interact with the Abridge Academy curriculum slides so we can play games together, they can click, they can move things on the screen, they can type and so on. This is something that no other online teaching platform seems to have. So for me, that's definitely a feature that's worth paying for. It's important to remember that as an independent online ESL teacher, you are a business earning money from your classes. Sometimes we do need to pay for tools that make our life easier and that make our classes better for our students. Because in the longer term, it's going to be a worthwhile investment that helps you and your business continue to grow. Okay, well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, you can also write a comment telling me about your favourite teaching platform. And of course, subscribe so you can see more great videos like this. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.